A roadblock was set up by frustrated locals this morning at Roku Puerbara Junction along the highway leading to the LNG site and National Economic Corridor. We want the authority to come and see what they can do for us. If you are going to push yourself, force yourself through this gate, it will be at your own risk. So please, I, I just want your cooperation and support this community because this is not the first time that our community has been threatened or has been robbed of their items and almost to the extent last night almost killed. So it's a very important uh, revenue from our LNG plant from our area. The security here is very, very low. So hopefully this kind of protest or activity is something that government will look at us. The roadblock was sparked by an incident that happened between 10 and 11 p.m. last night when a family home was ransacked, allegedly by over 20 disguised men, causing injuries to residents and damages to property. Local ward councillor Lohia Bodibo says criminal activities and law and order problems in an area considered a national economic corridor have increased at an alarming rate in the last month. Within last month, the frequency of the the whole up and uh, of uh, vehicles and the break and enter of the supermarket at Papa and a whole up on a taxi and a whole up of the about a 25 seater bus and uh, finally last night uh, the people cannot stand it anymore. Adding this was an act to send a message to the national leaders. Knowing that uh, we are uh, the people around uh, the area where LNG and the the oil refinery were two of the great uh, projects which uh, uh, contribute so much to the economy of this land. However, it looks like the security and the welfare of the people in the communities uh, not been taken seriously. The police were on site to contain the situation and allowed for free flow of traffic after negotiations with the local leaders. Zone 1 Acting Superintendent for Operations Fred Tundu said the government must look into this. The problem we can see now is the city is developing this way. And it really needs, uh, you know, the, the government, the stakeholders here, uh, business houses here, partners here to you know, look at the law and other issues that is, that is coming with it that is coming with it, and then we have to address this issue. When the development comes, people come with it. Criminals come with it, you attract all, all sorts of people. So the concern for, for them on the roadblock, when I talk to the leaders, is they want police to be here all the time. But we have our own issues as well. While acknowledging the government's shortfall, Tundu has appealed to business houses operating along the corridor to work in partnership in combating law and order issues. Uh, we can see the government has no, not, you know, uh, it's going through its own problem, lack of funding, etc. So we, we all, I want to appeal is to the business houses that are operating here, that this is just happened to the village house, but business houses will be affected. So we have to uh, have a partnership with, with our houses, uh, business houses here to establish a police post here and put presence here so we can at least uh, minimize law and order in this area. Kilawani National, MTV News.